Lord, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for life. We thank you, God, for this opportunity that you wake us up this morning and you clothe us in our right mind. Mighty God, as the some right to sing, he said, I must have the Savior with me, for I dare not walk alone. I must feel your presence near me and your hands around me thrown. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus today, that as we come in this fashion, Lord, to give you thanks, to give you praise, to glorify you, God, for this life that has been spent, mighty God, in the kingdom, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will touch our heart. Mighty God, I pray that you will pour out your sweet anointing upon our soul and minister to us in this atmosphere, God. Bring us to the place, God. We will learn to trust your word. We learn to depend upon you, God. Mighty God, I pray, Father, for every soul that come into this region at this time. I pray that this funeral will be mighty God. Mighty God, you are the resurrection and the life. I pray, God Almighty, that this day, Lord, you will resurrect, mighty God, some dead spirit. I pray that you will resurrect some dead soul. Even through this funeral service, mighty God, somebody will cry out, I need a Savior to be my refuge. I pray, God, that you will bless the proceeding. Take full control, mighty God. If there is anything this evening, almighty God, that we fail of asking of you, mighty God, with your divine favor, in your divine presence, mighty God, fail not to grant it unto us. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Okay, I will be reading Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1 to 12. Okay. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that that a plant that tree. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get up, a time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to read and a time to sow. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time to war and a time to peace. What profit has he that work that worketh in in that wherein he labored? I have seen the travail, the travail, the travail which God has given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. He had made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he had set the world their hearts so that no man can find out the work that God made it from the beginning to the end. I know that there is no time, there is no good in them for man to rejoice and to go in life. The end.
to name everybody. The second lesson is taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 to 18. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet God, call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left, will be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. 18 and ending. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. This is the word of the Lord. Life is Conference, 
and even be more acquainted with her, I've seen where that she is a woman of endurance, a woman of courage. We all know how how, how at times uh, the church goes down and 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 when I say go down in terms of um, of membership, but Sister Rose never give up. She's always coming out. She's always willing to come out to support her church. She loved her church. Amen. And. Uh, and we saw that, uh, you know, as I said, she she was very hardworking, yeah. hardworking and supportive. That's the kind of person that she is, yeah. or she was. Yeah. And um, there's one person who says that we are not to look at one's duration, meaning how long the person had lived, but we must look at its donation. Yeah. That is what the person has given throughout his, her, his or her life. Sister Rose, Deaconess Rose, has given a lot throughout her lifetime. Amen. Amen. She has given a lot to the church. She has given herself to the community. Amen. She has given herself to the family. Amen. Her family. She has done a lot. Amen. And we want to thank God for her. We thank God that he led her to us. Amen. 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 And it is a time when the Lord thinks that uh, her work here on earth is ended. Amen. She has run her race. She has finished her course. Amen. Amen. And now she is uh, awaiting for that great prize, the reward that is awaiting her in heaven. Praise God. And so, brothers and sisters, uh, friends, family members, do not mourn as though you have no hope. The writer in John chapter 14 says, Let not your heart be troubled. He believe in God. Believe also in me. For in my Father's house are many mansions. Hallelujah. And I know that there is one there for Sister Rose. Amen. There is one there for Deaconess Rose Smith. There is one there for all of us who are faithful to God. One of these days he's going to split the eastern sky. And the scripture tells us that the dead in Christ shall rise first. Amen. So Sister Rose will be going up before those of us who are alive right there.
Sometimes we see her in a puppet program. You go out there and say, no, I'm going to, to call and go and know me and say, so and so Christ. You have to put God. Sometimes we wake up with you, we have to consider and say, God provide for the bird. We fled your massive power white and God provide you. Everything God provide you, we preach us away all with every morning in your bed. And I wake up and feel for God some lovely service. And I need a man to say it. And look at it. And, and 
I remember the times we used to walk from Amstead to Eudon and campaign nights. So many glorious times we used to have. Even in this very church, we used to have some great time here in Amstead. I remember we used to walk from Amstead and go to Davis Vale and Pastor's Brown, Pastor Brown Convention. We used to have some real time in the Lord. Praise God. I pray that those days will come back when we will share and clear. We love. Hallelujah. And we worship God in spirit and in truth. Half assurance I want to say, Rose has lived her life. Hallelujah. She professed. She held on to the profession of her faith. She was a professor and a possessor. Hallelujah. She professed what she possesses. And because of that, I know with assurance this evening that this turn out is to show their love and 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 and, and care and their 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 all oh, they had to offer to Rose contribution to tell Rose how much you love Rose and we love Rose because Rose was a Rose as her name. Yes. yes. Praise God. Good. She radiates her life with her presence. She always in your smile. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I remember when I came to pastor this church for a year and some time. Rose inspired my life. When I was when it was time for me to leave, Rose had to ask the overseer for, for an extended time. And I was here for some time but after I left. I want to say I remember every moment. When Rose come to church to play the timbrel, listen to me. She played the timbrel. She was such an exceptional player. She played with all her strength. You could hear the melody out of the timbrel. Hallelujah. When you come on to worship, we had some good time. Hallelujah. She gives. She cares. She mothers. Those who came to church without parents, Rose would mother them. Hallelujah. And I know with assurance today that as Paul has said, that he has run, the, he has fought a good fight. I know for sure that Sister Rose has fought a good fight. I'm saying has lost a hero. But I'm praying today that you is an hero and you can take the mantle that Rose has left. Hallelujah. God bless you this evening.
Lord, everybody. Can we give the Lord a hallelujah praise? Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is good. And he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. I hear the sound of the mighty rushing wind. And it's closer now than it's ever been. I can hear.
in their foreheads or in his hand, the name, sorry, the same, shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture unto the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of them torment ascended up for ever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast on his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. No verse 12 and 13 men of the earth. Here is the patience of the saints. Here and they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right. Hallelujah. Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works. And follow them. Shall we pray? Dear God, we thank you for this afternoon. Lord, we thank you for your presence. As we celebrate the life of your servant. Oh God, we ask that even now. Oh God, as your word is about to be brought forth to the hearing of your people. I pray God that the word right now will be like a laser. Yeah. Mighty God in the name of Jesus. Cut it true, Lord. The hearts of your people. It will be like an X-ray God machine. God revealing and showing up. The things that are there in, oh God, the lives of your people. I ask that you will touch, I ask that you will minister. And when your word shall have gone forth, it will find a logic place within the hearts of your people. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done and what you shall be doing now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And he gave me this topic. The option of living and dying for Christ. Coming towards the end of the first century, even to the third, death was a very strong medium of punishment within the Roman societies. The Christians did not have it easy. Uh, the Christian community was not exempted. Furthermore, Christians were targeted and they were downtrodden by the enemy. Generally, the penalty of death was used to control people, even in their philosophical beliefs. Out of this reality, people would have given up their rights just to preserve their lives. It was against this backdrop, beloved hearts, that God revealed to John an invaluable perspective of death. John wrote, Give the people hope and assurance in yes. God. Yes. Amen. Amen. The passage under review this afternoon will reveal that death cannot bring closure. Amen. Or rather, death can bring closure to all misfortunes and challenges of life. Amen. 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 But also an opportunity. God's glory. We all must die, brothers and sisters. Death is also an inevitable reality for all human beings, whether we're rich or poor, whether we are born, whether we are born or we are free, whether we are educated, bishop or uneducated, whatever is our status in life, whether we're pretty or we're hopeless. Sorry to say hopeless. Because God does not make anyone ugly. Every man and woman and boy and girl are made in the image and likeness of God. We are God's beautiful creation. David himself attested this. He said, I will praise him, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Some persons 
appear, it appears as if they are not going to die. But I have news for all of us in here. In this building, inside and on the outside. That one day, we too will be lying in a casket. I am preaching the sermon this evening, Bishop and my colleagues. But one day, somebody will be preaching at my funeral. The message. Let us look at the body message that, it, that was delivered. Who were these messengers? We have angel one. We have angel two. And we have angel three. According to the passage that I am elaborating on this The Bible says the message the first angel proclaimed in verse 6 the everlasting gospel to those who dwell on the earth to every nation to every kindred and tongue and people. Yay. The second not only that but the Bible says Amen in verse 8 the second angel predicted the destruction of Babylon. Babylon is fallen. It's fallen. That great city that made all nations to drink. Hallelujah. Of the wine of her fornication. Me and the world system. Amen shall come to an end. The world system will be destroyed. It speaks of destruction of the world system. We always say sometimes that the system is against us. Not true church. We are all Jamaicans because sometimes some things that are imposed on us. Not because we are Christians. We have to comply. Uh, we have to comply. Amen. And sometimes the system goes against our religious beliefs. But the angels sounded. Amen. The angels pro the angel proclaim that the system of the world will be destroyed. And the third angel, not only that, the third angel said, Amen. There will be punishment for those who worship the beast. Hallelujah. And receive their will, his mark in their hand or in their forehead. Praise God. Praise God. They will drink of the wrath of God. So there will be no escape. But that's why we see not too long when Jesus came down for all his children. Yes, he will be coming to abort or put to end the system of this earth. And he's going to set up his own system, Bishop. He's going to set up a universal system. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. John said he saw the new heaven and new earth coming down as a brighter dawn for her husband. God said, Behold, I make all things new. Come on, church. This will make the church of God excited to know that Jesus is coming back for us and he will be a new Amen. Yeah, new world order. We, many of us fear this new world order that will be imposed on us. But church of God, in order to escape this, we have to be saved. We have to be saved and ready. Get right with God. So that when he comes, we will be snatched away in the rapture of the church. He will put an end. He will abort the old system and he will establish his righteous kingdom. Hallelujah. So Satan does not have the last word, church. He does not have the final say. Hallelujah. Neither is death final. Hallelujah. Praise God. So 
sometimes it seems as though the devil is winning. He's taking a toll. And he's moving along as if this world belongs to him. But the Lord said, the earth is mine. The seas is mine. The heavens, the days are declared the glory of God. And the firmament shall be in the work. Day after day, after a speech, night after night, joy knowledge. There is no speech, no language. There is voice, is not heard. Lift up your heads, kids. Lift up your heads, kids. Be lifted up your last doors. And the king of glory.
from the guilt of my past. I am trading what's trading my shackles. My glory is When she is free, it's after me. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. My brother. What a wonderful freedom. In Hebrews chapter 4, the writer encourages the Hebrew church. He assures the brethren that there is rest for them. He sing the only of the church, there is rest for the weary. There is rest for me. He's fitting up my mansion. Which eternally shall stand where my stay shall not be transferred. And that holy happy man, a holy happy man. <laughs> Secondly, he tells us about that reward. Some of we not going and not my lesson and go get my mouth time. You know, some person are like that. He can. If they must be going out business, we have to know where we are going to get our time. And he returns. Yeah, come on. Amen. No, no. Come on. A lot of persons, amen, have been working in many establishments for all their life. And when they go down to the NIS, they thought that the bishop, your NIS was being paid over because the employers have been joined from their salary. But it has been a shock and surprise. When they take a walk down to an eye, I'll be sister, my dear God. I'll be a mess of my name, no job, no. When they reach the age of retirement and looking forward to receive their reward or their pension for their hard labor, it was last week a sister was talking to me. I'm closing. She said, She's been working in this establishment for over 20 years. And the employer was joined from her family and gave her the idea that she was paying it over to the NIS. And now because of COVID, amen, she was sent home with the expectation that her employer will call her later. She said the late the employer call her the workers. And she didn't get a call. And when she checked the NIS bishop, no, no, did there. No, no, PM number to the NIS. No pension. She had no to look for. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Beloved eyes. Rose may not die. Maybe I guess Rose was not receiving a pension in her life when she reached her age. But glory be to God. Hey, she has a pension. She's on God's pension scheme. Hallelujah. She's on God's pension scheme. Our reward is sure. Hallelujah. She has a lot of benefits to get. Holy Bakun is to collect. She can. Hey. Hey. Because she invests in your sister, thank you. She invests all her life, all her time, all her talent, all her energies. The things of God. She's been signed up on God's pension scheme. I lost my mom just January. And when I take a walk, don't have NIS. To make the report. And because she was a pensioner. My daddy died. He was a pensioner. So after he died. Automatically my mother. Was receiving. That pension. That my daddy should have got. So he closed. Uh, after, after years. And when she died. I went down there. To make the report. And while I sat there, the lady said, Miss Fowler, just wait a minute so that I can go on this estate, come on church, and sign up. 
Tom is Martin, Arthur and I have sprung up for the church. But when we die, brother, sister, God signed me up. But so that when you retire, you get your pension. But you're not signed up on the heavenly and God pension scheme. Here is an opportunity this afternoon. Beloved ass, for you to get signed up. Amen. 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 She will be rewarded. Ah, Jesus. She will be in the presence of God. Amen. Sitting at the Lord's table and feasting because she has overcome. In conclusion this afternoon, Amen. The message of the Christian hope after this life was announced by being superior to all human authorities. The content of the message supersedes all joys and misgivings of life. And the vindication of the Christian hope is secure by the sovereign God. The option amen, of living and dying for Christ. Somebody say, for God I live, for God I die. Hallelujah. Let us receive something. And God bless us. God bless our hearts. In Jesus' name.
Then this time. I want to try and sing this song. Yeah. But I don't know if you'll get through it. But I have to do this for her. Yes. And she's my only sister. Yeah. If you give a little more than you take. And if you try to fix more than you pray, if you are going to take a time to give the stranger in the land, there's a place to But after that, 
I start to come to this prayer meeting, go to my church prayer meeting, come to this youth service, and I go to that youth service. And Sister Rose took me under her wing. You could not tell Sister Rose that you're not doing nothing in her church. I can't understand when people say they don't want to do anything. Not Sister Rose, you have to do something. She assigned something to you, and she helped you to learn how to function within the church. Sister Rose came into convention. Once you get here, you have to go convention. You have to know about the Christian life, how to mingle with your brothers and sisters. And she carried me, my cousin got saved in this church too, and her niece, Leslie Ann. At that time, Leslie was a Christian. She carried us to convention. And she watch us and she have an eye that she give you if you get out of line. And then you see the mouth start shoots so. up. So she was like a mother. Amen. 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 Sister Rose, come to church, never stop from church. Even sometime at that time when I was growing my children and I don't come every Sunday, Sister Rose is here. And she sit down there so at night and she look up and she look down and she come in and she have her anything prayer me in her Sunday night service and she gone go back. She, she was one of the persons that teach me a lot of things and I will be never going to pray. Things about Sister Rose. Number one. You have to be active in church. Number two, she would not allow anyone to come over that door. I remember somebody going to church with her attached case. I'll sit right down there. So. And Sister Rose was taking service and she said, Anybody have any testimony? Anybody have anything to say? And the person don't do nothing. Wanted Sister Rose to say, Come and preach. <laughs> When Sister was doing the exaltation and finished church, from that, that person don't come back. <laughs> she said, this is a sacred place. Amen. She would ensure you go to convention. She was strict as her niece and her sister. She and her brother then too. She also loved her church. And Pastor James at the time was our pastor and he encouraged her to go to Bible class, Bible school. But something happened and she had to stop. But her desire was to keep this church and, and allow the, the, the principle of God. You know we have lost a lot of things in the body of Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, Pastor James encouraged her and she was going to have somebody in the notes. Say, no, no, no. Yes, she loved to keep notes. She could run. <laughs> Sister Rose, spring him on. Spring him on the foot. I went back to our youth, youth sports. I will practice all this. So I mean, I don't come last. You never can rose. Sister Rose, put them sharp. So she not only she not only tell you she do it too. Amen. Amen. She was good went to Gelina sports at the primary school. You know what we do too? The shoe black. We take it with drinks. With ginger. Yeah. Yes, man. When sister rose with her creativity. Yes, man, she uses shoe black with ginger. We make drinks and carry it to in competition. When me tell her, I say, Sister was new and teach dancing. She don't say, Oh, you know about dance. She was there, you know, encouraging me. So when we have when we go rally and so, she was the one that was sometimes our nieces and never said, Boy, Sister was a little old Sammy. But the second rally night, oh my, the old Sam, they turn up. Sister was used to go down the rich man prison and get the prisoner them to come and perform here. Yeah. Amen. Amen. She was very active.
conceive of. And you know what she said to me? She said, Margaret, I don't do certain things, you know, because I want to win God heaven. God, you could have do that, you know. But I don't want to say, who end are you? From what be the truth. So she said, I don't do certain things because I don't want God to say that end are you. Amen. 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 <laughs> Sister Rose was a part of the show. We joined the club. We joined the Citizen Association. We went in competition in the club. And Sister Rose was also, uh, when the disaster came, she was the one that took up the name of the persons in her community. You know what they mean? <laughs> Sister was not to take young convert under her wing. She never stopped from church, as I tell you before. She must sit bad. So when she gets sick bad, after me leave church, me go up there, go up me at a service. And on Wednesday, when me go up at the school, me go up me at a service with me, 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 me sister. Amen. 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 Encourage her soul. Praise the Lord. She she also, if you are like you're in a, a new area or you're, the, you're at church and nobody in a PA, you know, my sister Rose make much of you because she wants you to feel welcome. So she encourage you. She will take care of the church surrounding. And when we never used to see Sister Rose, hey, can't talk everything. Sister was a sweet sister was a do some something. I could say many more things about sister was. But me leave the memory with us. And we said, yeah. I know. I'm going to leave a thought. Right now, we know sad. Me sad and me know sad. Because sometimes when we look cross, they say, and we know see her, we start crying. Yeah. But what sister was with her life, especially her family? Yeah. Ah, that day, yeah. Yeah. Because you see her mother, yeah. her mother take me under her wings. So. Mm -hmm. I want to tell me how sorry. No. Me, say, me say, Auntie, all people are yearning for the Holy Spirit and they still backslide. That's why they've gone around. Look at her. It be a day. And come, run her Auntie. My auntie turned to me and said, because you know, maintain it. She was the first person to tell me about sanctification. We were as young Christian playing cards. And she said, before we don't to get sanctified. And I were they lick me. Me never hear it before. And I start to go to God about it. So these are the thoughts. Sister Rose that tried to teach me this thing. But we have seen one verse. God gave life and he takes it away. He's the potter and I am the clay.
me round by heart. Teach me this song. I'm not a singer, you know. But sister will teach me that song. And many more. And we will have our memory in our heart. But one thing, we need to give our life to the Lord. And be rooted and grounded. Amen. Because there is, there is coming a day. Amen. 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 Um, good evening, everyone. Amen. It's a pleasure to be here. My name is Azor Martin. And I'm from the grandson of St. Lavonis.
or a pair of shoes made, a garden planted, something your hand touched, some way so your soul has somewhere to go when you when you die. And when people look at the tree or somewhere you planted, our beloved sister, Auntie. Sister in Christ, friend, Rosemary Smith had left a lot of things that we can look at in memory of her. Personally, it is this building that we're in. For others, it's our beautiful smile and mostly our love for the Lord. I could be here for the entire week Listen to things that each one of us can use in memory of her. But nevertheless, we're here today by force, not because we want to be here, but because we are celebrating the life of Rosemary Smith, otherwise known as Beacon Smith, and to Rose, Sister Smith, Rosebud, or Rochi. Her her life. Rosemary Smith was born on the 4th of November 1958 in the parish of St. Mary. She is the second child of Pearlene and Ivan Smith, now deceased. Rose attended the Preston Hill Primary School and then moved on to the Tivoli Comprehensive High School where she obtained her qualification. She was a woman of many acts. A mother to all, brought her brothers, sisters, nieces, and nephews. A random child on the street, working, working at the Den factory in Yalina St. Mary, and she was also a caregiver. She got saved at the age of 12 and later got baptized at the age of 14. She was on a mission for Christ, and I say this, and I want to repeat this because we all, whosoever sitting here today, um, know Auntie Rose. She was on a mission for Christ. She loved the Lord with all her heart. Deacon Smith had a passion for teaching it, the gospel and, and the school curriculum. And so she got teaching the te a teaching position at the same place, basic school in St. Catherine, where she taught for years. She then returned to St. Mary, her birth ground, where she continued her passion in teaching at the Slow Learning Center in Port Mario. A child couldn't be around her without ex exposure to homeschooling and, of course, learning about the Lord, which is a part of her homeschooling curriculum. Rosebud was loved in the community and very active in church. When it comes to building the church, she was a scholar on a mission. She traveled to and from ministering at the Richmond Detention Center in St. Mary. She was the secretary of the Sunday School Department and also the president at the Assemblies of Holiness. Every event that involved the church, she was willing and ready to take her part. I could go further to mention convention. She would ensure that the new converts in church attend various events. Rose was very sensitive about the persons who would preach on the podium. When you talk about respect, she got that from all walks of life. From even the one day old baby, the one, the young and the old. She often says, whatever you're doing in life, do your assessment, and if it's not right in the sight of the Lord, then you know you should not engage in that thing. Rosie's advice was always one of the best. You, you didn't have the option to question. Auntie Rose was a 
true Christian girl. There are many things that we could say about her, but one thing for sure, she was determined to serve the Lord in spirit and in truth. On February 23rd, 2022, she fell ill and was admitted at the Onoto Bay Hospital where she spent two weeks and was released. Happy to have her back home, she was slowly recovering from her sickness. She even asked her sister Jennifer to take her to the church because she had this burning desire to attend church. Until another nightmare hit us again, she was rushed back to the hospital where she was admitted for another week. She was then released from the hospital a second time. On her way home, she, she was so happy, laughing and talking. Little did we know that the Lord was ready to take her away from us. She passed away peacefully at her sister's home on March 23rd, 2022. I cannot express the feeling of her passing on us as sisters, brothers, nieces, nephews, cousins, family friends, sister in Christ. I want to take the opportunity to thank her, even though she can't hear us, for the precious time God has allowed her in our lives. Until you are truly missed. Your memories will live on forever in our hearts. May your beautiful soul rest in peace until we meet again. Amen. Life convention. Glory to God. Let's move the screen to our conference overseer, Reverend Tabitha Chambers, Reverend Paul, who's pastor, or moderator, Mr. Martin, and other servants of the Lord, brothers and sisters, great family. Indeed, I bring your greetings and condolences on the behalf of my assistant, Bishop Reverend Barry McKeel, or General Secretary. Reverend Hedlam and the Board of Management, Executive Council, and by extension, the Assemblies of Holiness. Indeed, Sister Rose was a tower of strength. She was a giant. We salute her for her work and her worth. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. We want to thank God that she has served with distinction. She has fought a good fight. She has kept the faith. She has finished her course. Somebody give God praise. Hallelujah. Let the children of the Lord give God praise. Hallelujah. She was indeed on a mission. On a mission to seek and to save those that were lost. She used the opportunity that God has given unto her. I believe her greatest joy and desire would to see all of her children, siblings, other relatives and friends give their hearts to the Lord. For those who have been brought up in Sunday school and you have graduated, should be happy to have you back. Should be happy to have you back. When we look at the volume of the crowd today, it speaks value that she has touched many lives. And we salute her today. Sleep on, beloved. Sleep on and take your rest. We'll meet in that sweet by and by. I just want to invite the congregation to stand and the family members are going to be seated. in the gap for you. Just remember someone somewhere is praying for you. Calling out your name, praying for your strength. I'll 
be standing in the gap for you. Lord, we want to thank you for the family members at this moment. Lord, we want to lift them up before you. Now that you will undergird them with strength. Undergird them with the right hand of your righteousness. As they go through this time of bereavement, I pray that God will comfort them with your comfort. Lord, you promise, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Lord, we will try our best uh, even to give them the most suitable word of comfort. But only you, sovereign God, can ease the pain. Only you can dry the tears. Only you can fill the gap right now. And so, sovereign God, we pray that you'll draw the family closer and closer to each other. Most of all, draw them closer to you. Father, as they mourn, cause that they will not mourn like those who don't have hope because our hope is in you, Jesus. Sister Rose knew where her faith lies, her confidence and her hope was in you because she knew that if it was only in this life, we have hope we'll be like men and women most miserable. And so I pray that her life her work and her worth will continue to impact the family members. That they will continue to reflect on the memories. And even to draw a leaf out of her book. Mighty God and walk in the path of righteousness. Lord, she was simply saying to the family, follow me as I have followed Christ. 
Mighty God, I pray for those who are not saved that today, today, which is the acceptable time today, that a salvation has come their path, that they will open up their hearts and let you in. God, I pray that you will continue to provide for the family. Continue to bless and keep them as an upright thy life. Lord, we also pray that there will be peace in the family. Give them joy. Let there be no conf con confusion. Amen. But let your presence saturate the family. Oftentimes we have seen member of a family die and then after God there is a lot of fuss and, and, and all sort of issue. But I pray peace of God. Peace of God. Peace of God. Saturate the family. We pray strength. For the body of Christ, be it a service of holiness, New Testament, Baptist, which other denomination, Lord, help us to be, oh God, so reflective today and understand that we too will pass this way. For it's a divine appointment. Help us not to be hypocritical. Help us not to play church. Lord, but to live our lives pure and holy. Walk in holiness. Holiness without which no man shall see God. We want to know that when we have come to the end of life's journey, we shall say like Brother Paul with confidence, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? I have fought a good fight. I have kept the faith in spite of the critics, in spite of the opposition. I have kept the faith. I pray that all of us will keep the faith. Looking up to you, Jesus, who is the author and the finisher thereof. Lord, we want to hear well done. The good and faithful servants. Thank you for the word that has been preached today by your servant. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for eulogy, the remembrance, the tributes, the songs, everything that has been said and done today, that which is on record, it has been written. Lord, there's coming a day when we all should stand before the judgment seat of Christ. I pray for every unsaved, every backslider, in the hearing of my voice right now that they will turn to you, the living God. The signs of the time are evident that your coming is near. Then, oh my Lord, prepare my soul for that great day. Wash us. I pray that somebody will ask of you this afternoon to wash them in your precious blood. Continue to bless, keep and guide us as we will be going to the committal sites. Lord God Almighty, the remains of Sister Rose is before us. It will be ashes to ashes. It will be dust to dust. Mighty God, help us to understand that there is no repentance in the grave. So we can walk as we like, talk as we like, live as we like, but we cannot go to heaven as we like. Let the words of our mouth, let the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, with strength of our Redeemer. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters.
evidence to take out of this world unto himself the soul of our deceased sister. We therefore commit our body to the ground and start to lower. We start to lower, yes. Thank you. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. From henceforth, say the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works will follow after them. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And he that believeth in me shall never die. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this afternoon as we celebrate the life of our dearly beloved Deacon Rose. We thank you, Lord, for this Lord, privilege when we can come to give thanks. We pray that you'll bless, Lord, this committal service. And for those who stand around and have not yet given themselves to you, we pray, Lord, that they will, Lord, say yes. Oh God, and make their calling and election sure. We ask that you will have your way, Lord, and you so minister to the hearts of your people. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.